Hello, my name is Annie Campbell. I'm a medical illustrator and animator and welcome back to this channel. So today I wanted to give you a little glimpse into how I created this medical illustration of a kidney cross section and I hope you enjoy and that you're all taking care of yourselves. So we have a process in how we approach our medical illustrations in our studio. Now the first step usually we start off with is a rough sketch. Here we figure out the composition, the shape, the form, you know, all the art fundamental stuff goes in here. Once that's been signed off by our clients or our art directors, we then move on to doing the lovely line work that you'll see in some of our illustrations. After that, we go into blocking out color and this is where we figure out what color combos work and also what planes are facing the light and planes are facing away from the light. Once that's been done we move on to the rendering process and we digitally paint and bring everything to life and add in the details and the glossy highlights and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to break down each step for you just so you can see um, how I tackle something like this and comment below if you have any questions throughout. So step one is sketching out the form and when drawing things in cross section what I've always found really helpful is to draw the organ or the shape you're trying to split uh, in its full entirety. Then you can go in and then cut it in half or quarter it or however way you want it. By doing it this way, I found that it really helps maintain the form and the shape correctly in your organ. So once you've got the base structure and cross-sectional plane sketched out, we can then go in and add in the final details. Once the form and proportions of our illustration are looking good, we can then start to implement final line work to our medical illustration. Now, usually in our illustrations, for our in-house team, our style is that we like to do a thicker outer line and thinner inner detail line. So it gives it a lot of line variability and makes an illustration look a little bit more interesting. So the next step here is to block out the colors or the hues that we want to use for this piece. Now, the hardest part here is to stop yourself from going into the rendering process. If you're anything like me, I immediately want to add in glossy highlights. I'm gonna add in all the detail. I'm gonna make it look super duper pretty at this stage, but stop yourself here because the important point of color blocking is to figure out what planes face the light and what planes face away from the light. You can also quickly figure out color combinations and what works well for your illustration. If you've gone so far as to add in details, it means you're kind of wasting precious production time and it's going to take you longer to implement changes. So once you figured out where your color combos are and you figured out where your lighting is kind of roughly coming from, then you can go into the fun part. Stick on a podcast or a YouTube video in the background and start the rendering process. Now, if you haven't done countless tissue studies before and have digitally painted them, trying to draw tissues straight from your mind is gonna be a challenge. So my advice here is just to make things easier for yourself and source reference images. I mean, we use reference images for our figures, why don't we use reference images for our textures as well, right? Kidney isn't a make-believe thing. We know what kidneys look like. So if you're like me, sometimes you might struggle with um, lighting and value shading. I usually find it useful to draw a little sphere in my canvas and then just have arrows that point out where my point light is and where any key lights are coming from. And I can just kind of use that as a visual reference as I'm shading everything out. And here's how the final illustration looks. So the way that I structured this PSD file meant that I can interchange the backgrounds quite easily and make very quick adjustments on a fly with adjustment layers. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial or sneak peek into how I created the medical illustration of a kidney cross section. Comment below if you have any questions or actually suggestions on what other kind of mini case studies you would like to see. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out any videos like this and hit the bell icon so you get notifications. And thanks so much for watching everyone.